WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Monday, May 3rd. My name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont reported 83 new cases of COVID-19 on Sunday, with seven new positive tests reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire reported one death, 155 new cases, with 18 new cases reported in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts reported four deaths, 786 new cases of the virus, including six new positive tests reported in Franklin County. Pediatricians from the Brattleboro area are inviting you to a Zoom conversation about vaccines and children. The Vermont chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics is sponsoring the discussion tonight at 7. They will discuss a COVID vaccination clinic scheduled for Wednesday at Brattleboro Union High School and the possibilities of future COVID vaccination for 12 through 15 year olds. Vermonters are invited to offer their view about unemployment insurance during COVID-19. On Tuesday, the House Committee on Commerce and Economic Development and the House Committee on Government Operations will hold a joint public hearing to listen to employees and employers in Vermont about the issues faced with unemployment insurance during the COVID-19 pandemic. You are invited to pre-register to speak at the hearing or to submit written testimony. A Brattleboro woman is facing charges related to a Friday night accident on Interstate 91 in Rockingham. Vermont State Police say 42-year-old Laura Hatfield was the operator of a car that crashed at the Exit 6 off-ramp on Interstate 91 North. Upon further investigation, troopers charged Hatfield with allegedly being under the influence a May 13th court date has been scheduled. Firefighters around the region took time Saturday to honor the memory of a fellow firefighter. Stephen Chickering Sr. was remembered with a procession of fire engines organized by the Southern Vermont Pink Heels Group. Chickering, a 39-year member of the Chesterfield Fire Department, passed away on April 26th. WTSA Sports, yesterday the Sox lose to the Rangers 5-3. Boston has an off day before they return home to host Detroit on Tuesday. Corey Kluber and the Yankees shut out Detroit yesterday 2 to nothing. The Yankees have an off day before they return home to host Houston. The Celtics lose to Portland last night 129 to 119. However, the toughest part of the game came with about 40 seconds left when Celtics Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum collided, injuring each other. Both players were able to walk off the court, but both players are being evaluated today. Again, the Celtics lose to Portland 129-119. to The Bruins are in New Jersey tonight. They take on the Devils. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Monday, May 3rd, my name is Ian Kelly.